Hi guys, so good to see you. Hope you've been doing well at home and still finding some fun ways to learn. So today I wanted to catch you up, since it's been a little while, about our classroom caterpillars that are turning into butterflies. So I did receive a kit in the mail and I took some pictures, which I will be posting on our classroom blog so that you can see what they looked like before now. Right now, they are in their chrysalis. And it takes about seven to 10 days in this chrysalis before they become butterflies. What you see at the bottom, that was actually their food. So I didn't have to do too much to care for them when they first arrived. In our little pamphlet, it talks about how in the wild, these particular caterpillars would eat things like mallow and hollyhollock. So the special diet that we have here is somewhat similar and it's very good for them. When I first got the caterpillars, they weren't really moving, so I was a little nervous, but it tells us right here that this is normal. They definitely grew way more than their original size. It also tells us that the caterpillar's waste should stay inside this cup, and they call caterpillar waste frass. I made sure to follow the directions to keep them out of the sunlight and just at room temperature, so not too hot and not too cold. When they do become butterflies, we will need to feed them with sugar water. So before I go, I would like to read you a book about the change from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Make sure you guys interact with this video so that I can see that you've watched it. You can leave comments, you can write what you've learned, answer questions. In the future, we might even be able to speak with each other on a video platform using something like Zoom. So I'll be sending emails or texts to your families so that maybe we can check in with each other and see how everyone's doing. But for now, this book is called From Caterpillar to Butterfly by Deborah Heiligman and illustrated by Barry Weissman. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. Some of you probably already knew that. Can you spell metamorphosis in the comments below? No cheating. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. So how are these caterpillars different from ours. What did our caterpillars eat? Do you remember? Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar and each day it is bigger. The caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. Our skin grows with us. But a caterpillar skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. I wonder if that hurts. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Do you know any other animals that molt? Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger 
than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First it makes a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time, there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. The chrysalis is also called the pupa. Every day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening. But inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, and we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly. And we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs onto the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. Hmm. Does this make you ask any questions? Why is it damp? What does damp mean? Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar it needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. Or somewhere like this for hours. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger in the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. So when we have a baby, which is an egg, to a caterpillar, to a butterfly, which has another baby. We call that a life cycle. It just keeps going on and on and on. And there's always new butterflies. So what kind of butterflies could you see in your neighborhood? You might be able to see a monarch, a black swallowtail, a cabbage white. Okay, all in the United States. <laughs> a dog face butterfly, a common blue, or a buckeye. Super cool, guys. Have you ever been to a butterfly conservatory, maybe? I know we have one in Canada and where Miss Brown grew up in Buffalo, it wasn't too far to drive there, so I went there when I was young. And even in the Buffalo Zoo by my house, they have an area with butterflies. I hope you guys enjoyed our read aloud and I can't wait to share more about what happens with our caterpillars. I will be posting on our classroom blog. So keep looking there and maybe find your own activities to do at home so that you can learn more about butterflies or go on a nature walk and find your own. Maybe even take a picture of what you see Bye guys, see you all very soon.